Hello Pisces, this is going to be your September 2023 Tarot and Oracle forecast. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Okay, so this video is for Pisces Sun, but also Moon, Venus, and Rising Signs. So check out my other videos for your other placements. Now September is going to be a very interesting month because as I'm filming this today, Venus has gone direct. Thank goodness. Okay. So you're going to feel a little bit more forward motion right now in regards to relationships, love, self-worth, self-value, and self-respect. Also Mercury will be going direct on September 15th. So any miscommunications you may have had, technology breakdowns, things are going to get a little bit easier. So let's take a look at what is the main message for September for you. And it is step out of your comfort zone. It's time to do different. You've been holding on to the past for far too long. It's time to make a move. Okay. Now let's take a look with the tarot here to see what else you need to know. Yeah, you got to shoot your shot. You got to clearly decide what you want. You got to communicate. You can't be afraid anymore. Okay. So let's see what else you need to know. Queen of Coins. So stability and finances might be really important to you right now, and so it should. The Empress says you're birthing a whole new cycle. Look at all this Venus energy, right? Self-worth, self-value, self-respect. That is Taurus and Libra energy. Obviously, you might have other placements in those signs. Doesn't have to be, but it's just embodying that energy, right? It's about doing what you're passionate about, being creative, believing in yourself. She's the Queen of Queens. Now, the Three of Coins does say an upgrade to a current situation, so there is some good luck here. Someone or something may come in and give you an upgrade, and the Knight of Coins is reminding you to trust the process. That's all you can do, okay? But you got to make moves at the same time. It doesn't mean waiting for things to come to you. And the Seven of Cups says you got to make a decision. Not making a decision is making a decision. And I feel like you've been holding yourself back out of fear. You know, I always look at this card and think about a Roomba vacuum. What does a Roomba vacuum do? It spins around the room and when it hits a wall, it redirects itself. This is what you need to do. Choose the cup. Any one of these cups is going to be fine. But you got to make a move and find out whether it was the right one or if you need to redirect yourself. It could also indicate that you are having some vivid dreams. I know that I have been and many other people, so it would not surprise me. Now, with that, we have the Four of Cups. You've been missing out on opportunities, okay? You've been in your head, you've been overanalyzing and not taking the risks that you need to or making the moves that you need to. See, Four of Coins, holding back, all or nothing, streams of giving time, love, or money, you're in fear. And 44 could be uh, an angel number that you're seeing, but it basically is telling you, you're divinely guided. You don't have to worry so much. And with that, we have the Six of Wands. You are going to be victorious, but you got to make a move. Now, let's get an Oracle card for each one here just to see what else we need to know. Let's go back to the Eight of Wands that's shooting your shot. And yeah, on a quest. You want to know where you're going? Shoot your shot. You don't even have to know the destination per se. Just put something out there and see where it lands. Now, Queen of Coins, the stability. Okay, you've got to look out for yourself. You may be worried about, you know, deception or being fooled by something, but really you're just fooling yourself if you're not taking the risk or making the move. Now, the Empress here is, you know, temperance, patience, forgiveness, possibly reconciliation, passion in your pants. But, you know, the Prince of Fire here energy is essentially saying to you, you're motivated at times. You have it in you. And then for whatever reason, you might lose that motivation because that energy rides in quickly, but it can leave just as fast. You've got to make sure that you can maintain that motivation for new things. And three of coins, you feel stuck. Okay, the earth energy here is telling you that something's unlikely. So that three of coins is going to bring some sort of upgrade to your situation. Allow it in. Now, the Knight of Coins is trusting the process. Well, you need to go full speed ahead. Yes, it's slow and steady in this card, but this is what I mean about the hot and cold. One minute you're like, you know what, I'm going to ride in really, really quickly, right? And then all of a sudden it's the Knight of Coins that goes, yeah, I don't know if I feel like it. I'm going to take my time. And that's part of the issue. You're not being consistent with the energy, but you do have to give the green light in general. Allow it in. It's one thing to ask for happiness, another thing to allow it. And so that seven of cups over here, don't you want your happiness? This is what I just said. It's one thing to ask for happiness, another thing to allow it. You want harmony. And let's see, the four of cups missing out on opportunities. The tower, you know, the tower in this deck doesn't necessarily have a negative connotation. However, the tower in general says 
that you know you're rebuilding okay you've got to recognize your strength you got to allow yourself to go to the next level stop fighting it it's almost like you're fighting tooth and nail to hold on to the old and that's just fear recognize the white wolf tells you you're resilient you're powerful trust your inner knowing you've got this you don't have to stress anymore and that victory card the chariot chariot is victory it's forward motion so it's time you really made that move let's take a power of surrender card here just to see what you need to surrender or surrender to and we have surrender to spirit once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you so here's the thing have you done everything truly have you put yourself out there because this is the thing if you've exhausted all of your options truly then let go let god let the universe take the wheel but i have a feeling there's been some holding back here so now's the time to make a move i really hope this resonates with you um you know please let me know in the comments also please check out my other videos for your other placements thank you so much for your kindness and support and i wish you the most amazing 2023